Today, we're talking about the TurboGrafx-16. If you're not familiar with the system, don't worry, you're not the only one. On this episode of 3D printing and retro gaming, we're looking at a simple solution to an alignment issue. More on that in a second. If you're new to the channel, I go by Acknot. I enjoy playing on original hardware and getting the most out of my retro systems. I like to fix things and break things. We got some screen pairing, but we'll figure it out. And I really enjoy 3D printing and design. Which brings us back to the TurboGrafx-16. It was the first fourth generation console, did well in Japan, but it was late to the US market and was overshadowed by the Super NES and Sega Genesis. There's a lot of features with this system, including unique game cards. One of my favorite features was the expansion port on the back. This port allows for additional hardware like the CD attachment and plug and play solutions for RGB video output. Since we're always trying to get better video quality, we paired our TurboGrafx-16 with the EDFX AV adapter by Crix and the Sega Genesis 2 SCART cable. If you're anything like me, I switch out my consoles often. I can't always look behind the system or I'm too lazy to pull it out. With this adapter, it's easy to misalign the pins and possibly bend them. But with this 3D printed project by Guybrush underscore T, you can easily line up the adapter to the system hassle-free. Next, let's bring this project over to our 3D printer. The printer we're using is a Bamboo Lab P1S. This project used just under 2.5 grams of filament, took 10 minutes to print, and cost 6 cents. If you're interested in helping the channel grow, hit that like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Easy solution, and just like that, we're back up and running. And now back to gaming. If you enjoy content like this, we'll see you in the next video. Mm -mm 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 -mm